Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to take a look at in this video is the new Proxit um, mid-span PoE injector. So if you remember, I did a video on this device. This is the original mid-span PoE, basically a mobile PoE that is <clears throat> injector that is powered by DeWalt and Milwaukee batteries. These are the 20 volt batteries if you remember that video and I use this all over the place I've implemented this in other places as well well there is a new version <clears throat> excuse me sorry I've got a summer cold and it is it's kicking my butt uh, so here is the new version and as you can see maybe there's a USB cable plugged into it so this thing can actually provide uh, 2.5 gig uh, client bridge via that Ethernet. The other thing that I don't know that we're going to try in a minute is to see if we can actually charge off of that USB port too. I don't know if we can. So just a few specs here. Uh, so supported standards are 2.5 gig, 1 gig, and 100 meg. It's got the auto off 10 second timer. The voltage range is from 18 to 30 volts and 36 volts to 57 volts. The transmission distance of the PoE is 100 meters. And um, I guess we're going to see, it says it's supported by all modern mobile and desktop operating systems if you're using it in bridge mode. can be used as a wired network interface without enabling the PoE function and provides that network access at speeds of 2.5 gig via ethernet to USB-C bridge. So then the question also becomes, are the ports on this 2.5 gig? And that is a good question. They don't specifically say that, uh, but I don't know how you would get 2.5 gig Ethernet via the bridge if it didn't support it. So nice, same sleek device. You've got your on off. You've got your quick start over here. And we answered our, our own. Uh, so this doesn't have the old version actually has the two Ethernet adapters and this has ethernet and then the USB C. So I'm still interested to know if this thing can power my watch. So I'm going to unplug the USB C that they got. So I don't know if you can only use it as a network adapter. I don't know if I'm going to jack my my watch up or what. But let's see, here's the, here's my Pixel Watch. And I'm gonna turn this on. So you can see, might be running out of battery. What's the blinking red mean? Uh, red means no load. So it'll automatically turn back off. But So let's go ahead and plug in my USB-C and we'll put my watch on it and it doesn't recognize it yet but I just turned it on and it still says no load so it's not doesn't look like it's going to charge my watch I didn't read the propaganda to see if that was really even a thing I just took it out of the box and wanted to try it but so we know that that is not a thing so you can plug it into your computer use it as an ethernet bridge uh, would be nice if they had one of these with dual 2.5 gig uh, but thanks to proxy for sending this out and let me grab a poe device real quick and we'll plug it in all right right here in my hands i have what is probably the best wi-fi 6 wi-fi 6e access point available right now this is the grandstream gwn 7665 and as you can see, I'm plugged in the net slash PoE 2.5 gig port. So I'm going to go ahead, excuse me, 
and I'm going to plug this in. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to slide the battery in. I love that you can use ba these batteries. I'm going to turn it on, and I'm going to plug it in. And we're going to see. Okay, so it is blue, which means it is delivering power. And you can see that my access point has green LEDs and is getting ready to is getting ready to boot. However, what I don't know is if it's actually negotiated it at 2.5 gig because I believe that 2.5 gig port here will also negotiate at a gig. So if anybody else is using one of these, you know what? Hold on just a second. All right, so I have some really good news about the network port on this. It is 2.5 gig. It says right here in the little book that I almost discarded uh, so it is 2.5 gig on that port, which makes sense that it can do 2.5 gigs on the bridge. But some companies advertise speeds that are unrealistic and don't work, but that is not proxied in this case. One thing to note is you can use other manufacturers' batteries with this. So uh, you can use Bosch and Makita batteries. And in the book, it actually tells you how to take this device apart and change the pins uh, that touch that line up to the battery so that you can use the uh, Makita and Bosch batteries. So if you buy one of these, and you can see that uh, position one is the, the default for the DeWalt. And so then it actually tells you for the... Um, Milwaukee that you need to change the pins to another location as well so all of that is in this book don't throw it away like I almost did because um, you're gonna need that to change the batteries but yes it is 2.5 gigs so if you've got a radio or something plugged into this that is 2.5 gig and you're using that USB-C bridge over to your workstation you're gonna be able to pull 2.5 gigs through there. Um, so I am really happy with the proxy devices that I have and that I've been using. If you use them, let me know down in the comments. What features do you think uh, they could add to these? I would like to see uh, USB-C and USB charging on these as well as PoE. What other features would you like to see? Let us know down in the comments. Maybe they'll take a look at this and uh, maybe we will uh, get some of those features added. I'm actually going to let this thing, it's still still powering that access point sitting over on my desk, so we'll see how long it goes because I can't remember how much charge is in the battery. But let us know down in the comments what you'd like to see them come out with in the future. These things are fantastic. They've got the hand strap. They're super easy to use. They're not complicated. You charge the drill batteries. You put the drill batteries in. You turn them on, plug your Ethernet in, and you go. We run... Um, ubiquity uh, mesh access points, not the pro, but the standard mesh. These things go at festivals all day on like a nine amp hour uh, DeWalt battery. It just it goes from the morning till night, no problems. Charge the batteries, go back and do the same thing the next day. But let me know what you think about this. Let me know what you think they should add. And uh, if they don't see it, I'll email it to them. So we'll put that down in the uh, in the comments and if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe comment share follow me on twitter and tiktok those links are down below along with affiliate links a patreon link and if you need it consulting head on over to willyhow.com fill out the contact form and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible come on over and join our community at community.willyhow.com and uh, share your expertise let's keep the conversation going once again i'm willie i want to thank you for being here and as always I'll see you in the next video.